Hey everyone, the name is Eric Dora. Today I want to talk about forced positivity in INFPs because I know a lot of INFPs out there feel this pressure on their shoulders in the sense that they feel forced by their family members and friends to be happy, to be smiley, to be positive, to be sunshine, you know. Uh, always feeling a pressure to be happy can cause the opposite effect. It can cause people to feel worse than what they really would have otherwise. That means when there is pressure associated with happiness and with positivity and optimism, when you're like, but look at the positive, look at the bright side, then it's uh, also a kind of invalidating because uh, when you think about the self, the self is not just light, but it is also dark. It's pressure, trauma, bad experiences alongside joys and pleasures and thrills and all those other things. So the self is full and nuanced and so rich in emotion and possibilities and experiences. Now, INFPs, they are personal types that derive their happiness and their joy and energy from their ability to introspect and validate and to be and live in a way that is true and authentic to the self. That means an INFP is happier the more they are able to express themselves and who they are in every situation of life. That means in everything they do at work, with friends, with family members, they are able to be as quirky or weird or as... Uh, sad as they feel. That means they are able to talk about and be upset about things that go against their values. They're able to be validated for what they find to be important in life ethically and morally. That means they are allowed to be honest with other people about how they are feeling without having to mince words, without having to uh, constantly pay attention to other people's response, without having somebody constantly shut them down and you know a lot of time when you're talking about negative experiences there's this like uh, there's this uh, pressure you know coming from the group and especially the larger group there is this pressure towards light and to joy and to smile and to have fun it's like the more people you bring together in one room the harder it is to be vulnerable and to talk about difficulties because we have this uh, social stigma around unhappiness or around uh, struggles or around pain or around hardship because everyone has to be successful and everyone has to be rich and everyone has to be perfect and everyone has to be great and all the time everything has to go up everything has to be a constant state of progress more better fuller richer more successful everything has to uh, go in this kind of way you know so you're not allowed to have your share of failures or mistakes or you're not allowed to be clumsy or stupid or say things you shouldn't. You're not allowed to mess up in relationships or to uh, have uh, ups and downs or to um, get upset or annoyed or frustrated with yourself. <laughs> and so that's very, the, uh, very, very limiting for an INFP because, you know, and it's not just limiting for the INFP. I know a lot of personal types, including INFJs and more, that really feel, you know, constantly put down by this uh, social norm. And so I feel in every group situation we are in, in every social setting we are, and every time we're talking with somebody, especially one-on-one, -on -one, one, we should be constantly promoting the ability to share and laugh about failures and mistakes and issues and struggles. We should be allowed to vent about problems that we have that we're not getting past. We should be allowed to lose hope for a moment or to go down a negative tunnel and to uh, say and discuss something that weighs heavily on our chest. That's important because uh, it allows us to introspect and see and validate that part of us. So. We have a part of us that wants to give up. We have a part of us that is clumsy. We have a part of us that is stupid. We have a part of us that has made mistakes. We have a part of us that is frustrated. We have a part of us that's anxious or stressed or tense. And that part has to allow, be allowed room and space to be there alongside our future self and our best version of ourself. So here is what I, my advice to all INFPs that 
is experiencing this pressure from other people and that is don't give in so when people are asking you how you're doing be honest and be upfront and yeah when people are talking over you let them know you're talking talking over me right now uh, can I finish and uh, I need to get the can I get this off my chest first and if somebody is going look at the positive say can we look at the positive later? <laughs> Can we talk about this first and then talk about the positive tomorrow? That means allow me to first have space for this and then we can do that later. That means, yeah, um, you should only be discussing hope. You should only be discussing um, the absurdity. You should only be discussing the uh, possibilities when you're at the end of the tunnel, when the possibilities are right there. and. So, a lot of the time, emotions are also about endurance and it's about knowing, you know, that, um, and this is something I think a lot of people don't realize, but, <laughs> but no matter what personality type you are, you have to realize that there is a you after pain and that there is a, another day, there is another uh, sun that's going to rise tomorrow and, you know, you have to remember that. You have to remember that with the, every emotion, every emotion is going to pass. Whatever you feel right now is going to pass. Tomorrow, it's, you're going to feel something else. In an hour from now, your feelings are going to evolve. Your feelings are constantly evolving, changing, developing. So uh, feelings are not dangerous, fixed or static. And that's also something very important if you're a thinking type and you hear a feeling type talk because I think thinking types can feel that INFPs and feeling types in general are so confused because first feeling types say this and then they say that and then they speak out of emotion rather than out of logic and logic is generally firm and principled and unchanging while emotions <laughs> tend to be constantly developing and relative and relative to the situation. That means in this moment, it, when I'm in this experience and after this time, I feel it this way. But in an hour from now or an hour after that, I'm going to be in a new situation and I'm going to be having new experiences. And um, that's also something that I think is very important when you're an INFP and if you feel like you're down a negative spiral and you don't know how to get out. And that's um, it might feel strange, it might feel odd, but go to another room. Because every time you go into a new room, you're in a new environment and you're in a new situation. That means if you're feeling bad and if you're feeling like you're in a hole, you need to go to a new place. You need to have a change of scenery. That means let yourself move with your body because that will also move your emotions and your experiences. So um, go on walks, go into nature, Go into new situations, go into new places, because uh, the only way to grow and develop and move your own emotions is to move personally as well, also in the physical world as well as in the personal world. That means, uh, yeah, take on new experiences and keep moving forward no matter how you feel. That's, I think, is very important. Always keep moving forward no matter what you feel. So you have to let yourself move from one emotion to the other. You have to open the door and go to the next place and to the next place and just um, let that situation and that emotion and that experience unfold as well. Finally, when it comes to feeling pressure emotionally or when it comes to uh, feeling uh, put down by other people, if you feel like you're put down by other people, if you feel like your parents or your friends don't really listen to you, then um, at least, first of all, take time to listen to yourself. If that's how you experience it, you're going to need more alone time. You're going to need more time to process. You're going to need more time to yourself. So make sure you get that time to yourself to validate and walk through your experiences. And if you feel that you're too alone or too isolated, remember that as well. That it gets easier to be open and to be around other people if you feel other people are open and if you feel like you can be yourself around other people. It's not that introverts need to be alone all the time to feel energized. It's that introverts need to be themselves and in their own heads alongside other people and affirming themselves and being true to themselves in every experience and every discussion they have. So 
every time you're talking to somebody, every time you're with somebody, you should be able to express yourself and your thoughts. And that is going to give you energy. So being around people is not going to take your energy, but being around people who don't allow you to be yourself is going to take your energy. <laughs> Anyways, this is my video on INFPs and forced positivity. If you agree with this message, feel free to share it with other INFPs. And of course, don't forget to subscribe. And of course, thank you all for watching and see you all tomorrow.